All right, maybe a mini score here. And just bow in the shade right now, right? This is a cool lamp. Even if it's not used for a lamp, someone could refurbish it. Casted metal, I think it's aluminum. Dope lamp. Good find. And I remember staring at the ceiling, trying to deal with emotions and your one feelings. All I wanted was a picture on my Good morning, everyone. Truly another beautiful day in paradise. Here we are. I have a little dilemma that is not a big dilemma at all, but see this card reader? So the computer we have doesn't have a card reader on the side of it. It needs to put an external card reader. And this actually did read, looks like five different cards. We only needed it to read one the regular SD card um, and on occasion the micro SD we've used but it stopped working about a week ago and then it was being temperamental and now it's not working at all so we need a new one of these so all the footage from yesterday from the flea market is on the camera and I'm just going to continue to film because it's a 32 gig card and I probably we probably used about 9 gigs 8 gigs something like that so we have actually probably three days of filming we could do on one card but we're gonna go over to Staples and get that going get a new one of these I think they're only 12 bucks but here we have all the stuff from the flea market in here and in the trailer left over that's gonna go this all is gonna go in the shed a little bit of organization and it's going to go all in here. So that's the plan for that. And then all the other stuff that's in the in the trailer is going to go into the garage. Or into the shed. As much as we can into the shed. We want to empty the garage. We were actually thinking about leaving it in the trailer until next weekend and doing some flea markets. But it's looking like rain tomorrow. Possibly Wednesday or Thursday. And then rain Saturday, Sunday. So it's like... Where do we go with that? But we got a suggestion from one of our viewers saying that this should be converted into a giant box trailer, an enclosed trailer, or even just this tall. Say if I ran wood across here, got this registered or whatever, um, which isn't that hard. It has this, I have the registration form. Um, get a plate for it and build like a box. I could even tilt it and put, I mean, if I wanted to get crazy, put shingles or a tarp just on top and have this just filled permanently with flea market stuff so I didn't have to come back here every time and unload. This is the best idea yet. Um, so, thank you for that suggestion. I, I'm really considering it because it's hard to unload and load for the flea market every time it would be a lot easier to sell what we sold and then pack on more stuff and then over time as we know certain items aren't selling just throw them out or donate them but uh it's always surprising what does sell you know we didn't sell a single 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 power tool yesterday and we had them i don't even think we got a, a question on them we had, we had them marked at three dollars like, I would have sold this whole box for 10 just because I wanted to get rid of it so bad. And I, that's surprising to me. That's extremely surprising, actually, to me. Because where else could you ever get that price? But then we sold other stuff that I didn't think would ever sell. Or I was weary of even bringing, I should say. Because obviously I don't bring stuff that I think is not going to sell ever. But I'm loading this, and then we're going to go to Staples, and we have a few items that we have to send. So... The dream continues. Got to keep pushing. Yoo -hoo. I was thinking, I just unloaded the truck and I had this in there and I was thinking, I just tried to sell this for one dollar and I have a Ryobi battery. I don't know what I was thinking actually. I'm about to test this thing. 
can see this thing. No way, it fits perfectly. No way. So I was about to sell an easily usable tool that I could had one like this before and someone stole it. Easily usable tool. No way. So always check your tools. I mean, it's a different scheme. Like now they're green, but that one used to be dark green. I didn't put it together in my head until I took it out like the third time. Crazy. All right, found it at Staples. This is the old one that broke on us. This has five connections. This one only has one, but it's only $14, so have to buy it. All right, what has the Kiki been up to for the last couple of hour the key key I posted so I posted the boots I looked them up and on every other website they were listed for two hundred and nine dollars literally two hundred and nine on so, multiple sites that was what it is yeah because I looked so up funny. like compar comparable prices or whatever and all of them said two hundred and nine and these are brand new so like they're not used Forget what I posted them for, honestly. Oh, 100. First I did 75, and then I was like, nah, fuck that shit, I'll do 100. Because I'm only going to make so much off of it, because on Macari they take a percentage. And that's half price of the other ones. Less than half price. It's half price, and I'm going to make half of 100, so. And after I shipping, yeah. After shipping. And then I posted these. The purses that Pam sent me, and... The Walito that Dale gave me. So, honestly, I honestly don't even remember what I posted these for because I was like going back and forth on the prices. I think almost positive they're all real. So, I think they are too. But I don't know for sure. Sometimes even the experts get caught in a trap. Yes, this is a very true, very true statement. So, and what are we about to do? I'm about to make another pot of coffee, and then we're gonna get the stuff to pack up something that we have to ship, and then watch the rest of Shepherd Fairy, his uh, documentary, that's his name, correct? And we're gonna go dumpster diving and trash picking, so. Meow. Yeah. So the Wolfman bought all these signs. So this whole stack, I'm gonna pack them up here in this cardboard. I guess just lay them down and then put another piece of cardboard on top and then tape them because they're not gonna get ruined in shipping. But that's what we're about to do. Signs are packed up, ready to go. About to spray this shirt for the boy. The Scrap Hawk legend. He's about to get this fresh tie-dye Scrap Life tea for the boys. The trash gods have hopefully blessed us today. It's a perfect day to go trash picking. It's warm out, but not totally sunny. It's a uh, perfect day for some picking. We are about to embark on a mission, going to Avalon and then cruising back through Sea Island, Ocean City. So we're hitting three cities today. Avalon will probably be the big bang, like it always is. And after that, well, let's just see what we can find. I'm claiming something good today. What's the claim? I'm gonna go trash picking. What are you thinking we're gonna find? Mm. An item worth. <laughs> she didn't wave. One item but... worth a hundred or ten items worth ten? What's more likely? 
An Avalon, one item worth a hundred. Yeah, and some scrap worth like two dollars each. And some scrap scrap. All right, let's roll. putting their trash out so we know we're on the right spot. Just pulled in, about to see if we can find anything gold. I'm seeing some bulky stuff up the street, so trying to fill this truck up with dreams. Good stuff though, not just junk and scrap. A little bit there. Might be worth it. Let me see what we got. All right, not that great of a score, but I just think because it has all these little like figurines and attachments that it could go for like a $5 box. I don't know, I'm taking it for now. What is this thing? Oh, it's a Christmas tree stand. It's uh, gnarly, gnarly Christmas tree stand. It's metal now. This is the heavy dutiest Christmas tree stand, or whatever it is, that I've ever seen ever. And then we got whatever this is attached to, which is nothing. What is this piece of metal right here? It's just some kind of a grill, I guess. Looks like it's stainless, though. That's nice. It's a good slab of meat for the dreamers. And this box is decent. Dude, look at all these books. Dude, don't you want this encyclopedia collection? No, I don't. Yes, you do. No, I don't. Don't be mad, don't be mad. Dude, the Encyclopedia Britannica. If I had more room, though, I would 100% snag these books. More bucks. More bucks. Bob Villa's This Old House. Classic. Classic buck. Some scrap here. Gonna snag all these chairs for scrap. Maybe a mini score here. I'm just bow in the shade right now, right? This is a cool lamp. Even if it's not used for a lamp, someone could refurbish it. Doesn't look super old, but it's casted, whatever it is. Casted. Casted metal. I think it's aluminum. Dope lamp. Good find. This is aluminum. I'll take this because it's aluminum. Aluminum. And the top's gone, so we don't have to deal with that. This may be nice. I'm just suspicious that uh, it's broken. Broken off. Broken off. Or is that part of the pattern? It's part of the pattern. 
<laughs> the thing is coming up, but... <laughs> Dreamer. Nothing wrong with it. We're taking it, right? Yeah, just in case ours breaks, right? Just to bring to a flea market so you don't bring a whole tent, too. Yeah. Oh. This guy's got some plans for his house he's throwing out, but this is a stand for shopping mall the game. It's actually from inside our truck. Dude, Sports Illustrated though. Sports Illustrated. Do you think the Sports Illustrated magazines are worth anything? 95. Michael Jordan. All the Michael Jordan ones are in here. The whole fucking kit and caboodle, dude. I might just get it. What'd you find? I said, until I find a real man, I'll settle for a real smack. <laughs> That's what it says on here. <laughs> These are the ads they had. They can't even have cigarette ads anymore, isn't that wild? Winston. I've seen them then. Alright, look at these lights. Little scrap. Must have put in new ones. Oh my god, grab those. How are these though? Such epic cushions. If we needed them for anything. So cool, the design. Bike claim. Definitely trash. Potentially scrap. Santa Fe, little dreamer. The tires seem like they're fine now. Just really needs a seat. Dude, just got out of the car and it just kept rolling. If you guys saw that. <laughs> yeah, but it won't, it usually doesn't open unless it's not in park. Did I unhook it or it just was unlocked? Do you know what I'm saying? Like, it, it'll lock when I put it in drive. I gotta get this microwave, though. Yeah, there's a cord on it still. It's scrap, but oh well. Walmart microwave. Got back to the house. We got some good stuff. Some Sports Illustrated, Michael Jordan. This load of scrap and other stuff. Might be able to use one of the wheels off of this bike actually for Sammy's bike if it's better off. We got this box, swimsuit, Sports Illustrated. I don't know, maybe we could sell these for a dollar each depending on the crowd. I don't really know. And then the Michael Jordan ones are underneath. Microwave probably works. The tray is broken on the inside, so it's either a scrap claim or just give it to Ed and he can send it over to Haiti. He said he's coming over Tuesday to check it out, see if we have anything to send. Because um, we're going to give him some stuff. Sports Illustrated, I don't know, whole box. This umbrella, which is actually nice, decent, and then just some scrap. And this was the find of the day for sure it is an eagle cast aluminum eagle lamp probably works not sure if it's really that old but the way it's tarnished and shit and the way it's fabricated makes it look like it's probably old so that was a decent little score it's actually really cool so definitely worth the claim. Always go out and look. Always. Even if you think, you know, it's not worth hitting it. Most of the time, that's not the case. You're going to find something, no matter it be some scrap or something, you know, a bike or some good, valuable stuff. You really never know until you go. But uh, just pop in the garage so I can put this stuff in here. 
these magazines. And I have a claim, a pretty heavy claim, that I don't know if it's even doable. But I want to have a mini amount. So this is the garage now. Looks way better, right? Um, I want to have a mini amount of hoarding going on in the garage. And also, I want to convert this section, another shelf like that that we have, put it there. We'll actually measure it out so that it's not blocking the window. Move this probably all the way over another shelf and then put this shelf thing that has huge drawers for art here and then somehow build an area where I can make stencils and such um, other art. Get rid of all the big items. This, I mean, this is a travesty to scrap, but it's going to happen if no one wants it. I'm going to try and post it again for cheaper. Drop it to like 75 bucks. And that one, I don't know, try and sell these almost for any price at this point because I can't hold on to them forever. I think my parents want this. Try and get that out of here. Take it over to their rental house where Bob lives. It's really Bob's house at this point. But that's what I want to do. I want to build this into more of an art studio, uh, construction studio claim where I can actually fabricate and create things that I want to make um, for either the street, art shows, my own personal use for people who want to buy stuff. Maybe if you like any of the art that I already have, you know, let me know. Or just for my own satisfaction because I love creating. It's my favorite thing in the world. So... That's the plan. I would say looking at this box and what's on here, this guy had most, if not all, of the Michael Jordan Sports Illustrated covers, which is pretty cool. It's actually really epic. So I think we can get like anywhere from 20 to $50 for these. I don't know how much they're worth, but I'd say easily a dollar each for the Michael Jordan ones. Especially that's 91. That's crazy.